I think you've got the camera wrong there, Nath. All right, Colin here, and this is Shine Automotive. I can't believe the subscriber boost the last few weeks has gone crazy. So all those who have just subscribed recently, welcome to the channel. What we're doing in this one is we're jumping back on and getting the Enduro K finished off the ramp so we can finally get the XR2 build on. I've changed the start of this video because of what's gone on recently with how many subscribers we've got. If you haven't clicked subscribe, think about doing it. Consider subscribing, I'd really like your support. What we're planning to do with the channel are crazy builds that we're gonna do in the future. We plan to give to you for free. So if you subscribe and the channel goes crazy, then we'll be able to start doing these builds and then one of our subscribers can win it for free. No raffle, no money down. You can have one of our builds for free. All you gotta do is subscribe to the channel. Let's crack on and let's get this cave finished so we can get on with the XR2 build. Very nice. The COVID hairdo is in full bloom right now. And today we're back on with the Enduro K. So we'll get the TT moved out of the way. And then what we're going to do today is we're going to get this door wrap removed, replace that door wrap, clean the sills, mask the sills up, refis, tin the sills up. Get these, I just fell over. Thanks, old arms. Thanks for that. Get the wheels off, put the new wheels on, put the bumpers on, sort out the new wire towing eye straps. Get this door off. Hopefully we've got another door. If not, we're just gonna have to knock the dents out here. Knock this dent out, tiny bit of filler. I've got a door wrap left over spare for that side. Got one coming for this side. Get all these bumpers cleaned down and put these bumpers on. Morning, Kevin. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> Morning. Morning. So yeah, we'll jump on, start getting it tidied up and ready. New towing straps to put on, bumpers to put on, wheels to put on, bonnet to put back on, and we're not far off. So this episode, we will get it all ready and all finished, and it'll be ready to race, barring servicing the engine, because I want to run it up first to make sure everything's all right, do a compression test on it. So let's crack on and let's get the TT out of the way. If you've not seen that, a link up above now, that's going to be a crazy build. But to get on with that, we need this ramp free. So we have to get this K finished off so we can get the TT on the four poster, and then we can bring the XR2 in, cut the XR2 up, and see if the XR2 body will go on that. So let's crack on with this Endura K. Okay.
front bumper about done. I just gotta do a bit on this side. So that bumper's done now. What I'll do, so I'm gonna take this door up off, get all that out of the way, clean the glue, stick a new door up on that side, clean these sills up while the door up's off, mask it up, give them sills a tape up, and then that's this side complete. Then obviously we'll get round onto the back bumper. So I'll jump on now, let's have this door up off, and let's get that sorted. Ed for Nari's doing some paint, and check it out now. All right, Ed for Nari. Really, that was a nightmare. I messed up. Really, what I should have done is absolutely boiled it with the uh, heat gun to get the sticker off because I just tried taking it off cold and I left loads of glue. Peeled a little bit of paint down the bottom, but it was fisting in this door anyway. So I'll give that a quick clean up, get the sills all painted up, and I'll put loads of brake cleaner and the solvent cleaner on that door because obviously the amount of the glue and tire remover I had to use to get the glue off the sticker needs a good base. So I'll jump on, I'll do that now. Yeah, there's loads to do. I don't even know if this will make this Saturday's upload because I've uh, been that busy this week. And as well, I'll give you a little sneak peek what we're doing as well. A new video coming out soon, back on with the race truck. We're putting all skirts on the race truck and getting that all done. Looking dooty, so that'll be a video, another fill-in video when we're struggling with bits on the XR2 build. Right, let's get this door cleaned down, get some rattle can on there, make it look nice, and we'll get this door wrapped up. Then we'll move on to the quarter. Very nice! <laughs> The driver side all done looking nice we'll jump onto the passenger side now and sort that quarter out the passenger door hasn't come yet which it probably won't be in this episode but we'll need to finish the car off because we need it off the ramp because we desperately need to get the tt on the four post ramp so we can start chopping the tub off the xr2 let's get on with the passenger side now <laughs> Few, 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 few. At least there's only a little bit of glue there and an odd bits down there. I'm right close to the bench, so I can't get too far back there. We'll do it from there. Glue here, glue here and glue there. Not a lot to get off. I'm well happy about that. Definitely, when you're trying to get that real good wrap off, you need to proper bake it. But I ain't no wrapper. Wicky, wicky, wicky. Obviously, that door, you know, it's all self-taught. So if you do wrap in and you see anything I'm doing wrong or you've got any tips, let me know down below. So we'll get the glue off here now. We'll break this horrible, nasty dent out here. And I'll put a just a little bit of filler in there, just a little bit of filler, only a little bit. It'll only be one little scoop. I won't go over the top. I'm telling myself that. And we'll get all the names off because we've got all new drivers. Drivers line up this year. Some returning, some leaving. Some gonna get their uh, ass kicked in racing in their own car. That'll be Justin. That's a lineup so far. Them two have been evicted from the Big Brother house. Dirty rat is what it is. Yes, yeah, so we'll get some filler on, get that cleaned down, get that bit of wrap done. Unfortunately, this 
door wrap hasn't arrived in time, which I understand. So I'm gonna leave that door on for the time being because I will probably just get another door ready and paint the inside of the door and just a little bit at the bottom. So we'll jump in. I'm gonna stick another brew on first, get that dent sorted, get that bit sorted, get the glue off, lift it up in the air, bit of aerosol along the bottom, do that bit of bumper and jump on and stick the back bumper on. And we are getting there, very nice. Hang on a second, I need to interrupt this video just to let you know the new stickers are in, the mugs are in, and we've got a supply of hats because we've run out of the hats, so we've got, a, I think, another 15 hats in. Link in the description. Let's check them out. I knew this would happen. I um, ended up putting two scoops of filler in. That'll do though, only to give the sticker easier to fit. There isn't that much filler there. There's maybe a little bit excessive of a blob there, but it'll be fine. Sand it, a little bit of primer, sand the quarter off, there's a few marks, it's ripped a bit of paint off there. Just literally knock it back with some 320, but it's just gonna make it look loads better because the other side's looking mint now. So a little bit of weight on this side doesn't do you any harm at all. It'd be freezing. Right, well that's good enough for race car standard. It is a bit low in places, but we are putting a wrap on which will hide a lot of it. Yeah, it's definitely not a road car standard job, but that's what we're not aiming for because before you know it, we could be dented again. It is a race car. So I'll chuck a bit of primer on, let that go off, smooth that in, smooth a bit where the paint come off, clean it all down, put a bit of black down there and around there, and then we'll get that wrap on. We are getting there now. Right, I'll let that dry, then we'll stick on the wrap. No point painting it up there. I've took all the loose paint off, so hopefully when I'm sticking on the wrap, it doesn't pull it off, but I think it'd be all right. Done all along the sill. Haven't done the door, because obviously I haven't got the door up, like I said. But let that dry, then we'll get that quarter wrap on, and then we can jump onto the bumper. I cannot wait. Finally, we're starting to see improvements. Look at that wavy Davy gravy. You watch till the wrap's on, you will not notice any of that. I was going to start removing the name stickers next, but I'm going to leave them just in case we don't get them in time. And hopefully this door up here this week, so when the video goes out, that door wrap will be done, the new names will be on, the new numbers will be on. So yeah, done that transforming, just that little bit of filler. You know, it didn't look very pretty, but look at that now. Very, very nice. So yes, 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 yes. Let's do some design work and let's come up with something funky for the back bumper, just like we've done with the front bumper. Let's do it. Oh yeah, guess what? When the bumper's on, oh, we're putting the wheels on. I cannot wait to see it sat on its wheels. bumper finished off this door was the reason why we didn't get the video done in the last one so we're going to jump into that shortly so that's done and then we're going to stick the wheels on that have been refurred with the new tires but we're going to have a brew first we need to have a brew so somebody who hasn't been in a video for a long time is making a brew right now who is it it's Nathan! We will chuck the backlights in and we'll chuck the wheels on. See it on its wheels for the first time. I can't wait. It's looking awesome and race day's coming shortly. There'll be a five hour race at Donington Park. 
So let's crack on. Right, let's stick the first wheel on and let's have a look. Where are we going? We're going to the back. We're going to the back. They're a new stickier tyre. They're not, they're not playing down and all, so they've got plenty of meat on, so they should last a bit longer. I have no idea. I've never raced them, never used them before. So I think you've got the camber wrong there, Nave. That's just the standard setting of the camber. That's the standard setting of the camber. That's factory specs. Aye. Straight from Ford. Mm, I'm a bit unsure about that. Whoa, you see that skill? Been practicing. Oh, oh, that is the wheels on. It's still set up in the air on the actual stands, but we will. Leave it on the axle stands now, maybe. No, we'll drop it off the axle stand and we'll peel that door wrap off and probably knock the dents out of that door because I can't be bothered to change the door. So we'll jump onto that right. A now. few moments later. Finally, the wrap arrived, which I never thought it would arrive in time to get out in this video. But he's not just sent the door wrap out. He's sent two brand new sides out. So if we have plenty of whoopsie daisies this year, we have got plenty more to fix it. So we'll get it cut up. That lens has got some on it a big bit of grease so yeah i'll put a link down below to chris biographics on instagram where you can go check his page out and a little sneak peek here sam's stripping down the engine he's washing all the bits in a bucket that's our nice uh, washing machine so that's emily's engine if you know nothing about that i'll put a link up to emily's video where you can see what's going on with that engine and i'll get this door wrap off now wrap off tabs on dent pulled dent to pull Fill it in, strictly turn it, and sanded primer on, primer sanded, bit of black paint on, door on. Oh. Kev's just stuck a Union Jack on me out because he thinks he's funny. <laughs> Numbers and names on. And now, after a busy day, let's go and have a look at the reveal because it looks nuts if you like a okay. K. Right, that is the K all ready to go racing. It's been a long time coming. We've had ups and downs trying to get bits, but now it's done. So I hope you enjoyed this one. If you like this sort of stuff, consider subscribing. Really appreciate that. We'll see you in the next one when we will be cracking on with chopping up the XR2 build. We'll see you again in the next one. Bye now. Bye.